Hi Leo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your mid-month, March 15th to April 15th, Cartomancy reading. Cartomancy is the art of reading the regular playing cards. Now, this month I've added tarot, and I already shuffled and thought of you, and I have one tarot card for each position, you know. So I'm just going to shuffle the playing cards now for you and lay those out. Oh, 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 look at that. We got that bunch right there. Okay, I'm going to put them with that. And that is time to cut. That is time. The time is right. So I go around three times um, so that there's three cards in each pile and there's seven piles. And um, I lay them face down and right side up. This one. And then uh, I look at the piles one at a time, turn them over as I get to them. Okay. So here, okay, first of all, first, let me stop for a sec. These are all cards that fell out as I was shuffling. So first of all, in the tarot, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Moon. The Five of Pentacles is leaving something stable. It's a stable situation. It's completely intact. And it's, it's financially stable, but there's something you're not happy with in the situation or, you know, someone isn't anyway. So this is leaving a stable situation. Could have something to do with the Queen of Cups. That could be a water sign around you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, also, the Queen of Cups is known as someone who's very nurturing and, um, caring and uh they are they're giving you know what i mean they're giving they're usually helpful and stuff and the ace of swords so this is a gift you know this is about peace honesty um and perhaps even might involve in a, a document an agreement um and and clarity and then the moon, which represents confusion, not clarity. And so there seems to be some confusion around communication here in this situation with this person, this water sign, um, or this like person that is really in some sort of a nurturing role. And they may leave, you may leave. Um, because it's, it looks like there's a communication breakdown. Okay. Now the playing cards, you got the Jack of Diamonds, the Nine of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs. So this is some sort of news of ambitious news, um, about being able to move forward with some sort of ambition, be able to make more money. Okay, so you may get news of a raise or get m making more money. Another queen here. This is the queen of clubs. This is a brown or hazel eyed woman. She's usually thought of as the friend, you know, she's friendly, creative, um, chatty. Um, this could be you, Leo. And so this is about news about um, being able to. Uh, 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 being able to make money basically being able to make money okay it also could involve traveling all right could involve traveling so here in the main here you are now here uh the where we find ourselves the present you have the three of swords there's something here hurting you painful situation you may feel caught in the middle there could be something that's kind of boiling under, you know, that needs to be 
brought out in the open, discussed, talked about, whatever, so that it can heal, you know. And so the Three of Swords is when you know the truth or you re you're, you're hurt by the truth, basically, is the Three of Swords. Being hurt by the truth of some in some way. Um, then you have the Seven of Diamonds, the Five of Spades, and the Four of Diamonds. Again, I feel like there's it's a loss in communication. Um, there's some sort of, you know, it, it's good intentions. There's good intentions here, but there is a loss in sort of a, a faith or hope in the situation, basically, okay? And then that has led to uh, indecision about the path forward, what step where you want to take, you know. Um, and it could leave some indecision about your financial stability. So um, coming in, you have the Queen of Wands. So this could be you. It could be you, Leo. So and there's the lion right there or Sagittarius, um, or Aries, but it's probably you, okay, so this is very much in your power, feeling confident, um, feeling in control, you know what I mean, also ready to take action, ready to take action on something, I, I think you might be itching to, to do something, begin something new, um, you also have the nine of clubs, five of clubs, and the seven of hearts. This is really good. Uh, you could be getting more work or be getting more shifts at work. Uh, if you work for yourself or, or, uh, have your own business, you could be getting more customers. Um, but yeah, there, you're getting an increase at work. I also feel like, um, This is like, you know, it's making you ha a lot happier uh, that you have more work to do. You know what? For some reason, I feel like it's not just at work. You are you have more work to do in your life as well, okay? Um, above you, you have the Three of Pentacles, okay? Again, this is more work. This is people seeking you out, wanting you to collaborate, to maybe help them out with something, you know? Perhaps you're going to start a little side hustle, you know, some sort of a hobby that you're going to make into perhaps start a business with it in some way because people are asking your advice, you know, help on how to do this, how to do that. They're bringing their jewelry to you, their furniture. I don't know what it is you do, but you have a knack for it. And you're starting to get people realize you're a level above this, them, that you have more experience, more knowledge, just a, uh, like I said, a knack for it. Okay. So yeah, look at that. So ace of clubs, five of hearts, two of spades. Um, Yeah, the Ace of Hearts is possible new career, you know, new work, line of work. Like I said, you might be thinking about turning a hobby into part-time job or something as, as that you're exploring as well as your other work. I think this is a side hustle. I really do. And um, I think that it's something you really, really like. You enjoy doing it. Um, you could create really good connections here. I also get getting the feeling there's something going on around the home. This could be something you do at home. Well, it would make sense if it's a side hustle, a hobby. Um, there's something about separation in the home that is... It's helping a situation, okay? 
um, it's growing feelings, growing friendship, uh, growing sentimentalness, you know, um, so it's kind of, it feels like you're working together, but you're apart, you're at a distance. So, you know, maybe they live in one city and you live in another and you're creating this thing together, working together somehow, uh, creating something new. So, but I feel like you're separated, you're at a distance, okay? All right. Um, in your actual work pile, <laughs> you have the hanged man. And the hanged man is sometimes you have been able, you're able to see a new perspective now that you weren't able to see before. And um, you could have been, you know, the way you thought about something, behavior, tradition, whatever, kept you from seeing it. But it feels like now you're able to see this, okay? Uh, here's the Ten of Hearts. And the Ten of Hearts is, for one thing, it, you've reached, some. you're very happy about something because this is the conclusion, okay? And I think it's the conclusion on not being able to see, you know, the potential, the new horizon, the solution, you know, the perspective that you need to see to move on, right? And to move on. And this also means that there could be a relationship coming to an end somehow, okay? So this is with a king of clubs, a queen of diamonds, and the ten of hearts. The queen of clubs is usually a brown or hazel-eyed man. He's friendly, smart, creative. And the queen of diamonds is seen as the mature woman. She's usually older. She has gray or white hair. She's over 50 for sure. She could be the mother, or the grandmother, uh, maternal. Um, also, she could just be very experienced, um, have a lot of experience and knowledge about business and, you know, just the world, right? Worldly in a way. So s somehow there's something coming to an end here, the relationship coming to an end. And... Uh, this enables some sort of new perspectives, a new, uh, there, could, there also could be some new path for one of you. Um, and sometimes like, um, we can't see how something will turn out, you know what I mean? And so we're, we're wondering if it will, like, is this going to turn out? I don't know, you know? And so that perspective we can't see is, yeah, why wouldn't it turn out? It'd be all right, you know what I mean? Because we're seeing, oh, I don't know, you know. So anyway, I think that you're able to at that point. The exterior energy is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is how others are seeing you or influencing you. And they see you working really hard, saving your money. You could be saving your money or building up um, your like material possessions kind of thing. Like you might be building a house, you, might, you know, having something to show for your money or you're saving your money, working hard and saving for something. You have the eight of hearts, the eight of spades and the six of hearts. Isn't that interesting, eh? You know, here it seems like there is good talk, bad talk. All right. So sometimes you're, you can be very loving and other times you can be very nasty, you know. So it's good talk and bad talk, right? You, you may s switch back and forth or this is how they see you. All right. But um you're progressing you know you're the, there's i think there's steps taken in your communication like you could have um you're working on it 
you're probably working on it right now and this is probably what you're working on is your communication your maybe how you hear things too not just speaking you know it's how we interpret right back here with the hanged man and so you're working on this successfully and getting more joy and happiness in your relationships period so in the foundation you have the seven of wands and the seven of wands is a fight or flight card so are we going to stand up for some something or we're going to defend ourselves or are we going to walk away this isn't really worth the fight i don't i'm not going to defend myself i didn't do anything you know However you take it, you know, you might be the one that is the aggressor or you might be the one in the defense mode. But this is, you know, this is creative ideas, right? This is creative energy and creative ideas. And, and each person wants their idea to stand out above the other ideas. And so they're, they're, they're competing, you know, they want to be the one on the top of the the food chain on the top of the castle the king of the castle kind of thing and um anyway so it also could be um people challenging your ideas challenging your ideas so you either have to stand up or defend your ideas or you're like i'm not it's not it either is not worth it to you or it's not a big deal. Okay? One or the other. Ah, well, it was definitely a big deal. Four of spades, three of spades, six of spades. So it created doubt. It created obstacles. And there were some bad moves made. Whether they were things done, words said. But there's a lot of opposition here. Okay? I don't know how many people are involved in this particular situation and this has happened already or is happening and so there's a lot of opposition doubt um and bad moves being made here you know just like oh maybe some regret perhaps too all right you know, sometimes this is ego getting in the way, you know, uh, ego of each of the people really wanting their idea, their thing to be the thing, you know. In the surprise pile, you have the high priestess. And the high priestess, there might be some things unknown to you. Sometimes these can be secrets, but some things, they're not secrets, they're just you know okay so say um you didn't hear from someone for a while and you thought geez are they ignoring me geez like uh that's not very nice they didn't get a hold of me but meanwhile they broke their leg they fell down the stairs and their phone got busted at the same time and they've actually been having a really difficult time so you didn't know that you were unaware of that particular situation and i think this is the case there's something that you're unaware of the other thing too is that um you may be required to keep a secret not being able to reveal something that you know may be terrible might be just family stuff you know who knows and but you have to be able to you know move on and live and enjoy life even though you know this thing or have knowledge of something that is hard you know so we have to leave that in a place you know like they call our our, our old stuff baggage right like a suitcase and sometimes we can put stuff like that in a suitcase uh um hypothetically and we're going to leave that suitcase right there and i'm going to go out and enjoy my life today i'm going to have a good day and i'm not going to carry that suitcase around with me today I'm not going to so the high priestess is a little bit like that she's also very intuitive so you may 
uh, your may intuit intuition may be heightened at this time. Um, you have the Nine of Spades, the King of Diamonds, and the King of Hearts. The Nine of Spades is usually something to do with our health, your health, There's the, uh, or you're in health care, like it's someone's health, okay? Could be a few people here. Um, it could be a few people. The King of Diamonds says the older gentleman. He's over 50. He's got gray or white hair. Usually has green, gray, or really pale blue eyes. But it, we're, he's seen as the dad or the granddad, the, the mature man. And then we have the King of Hearts. And the King of Hearts is kind of the caregiver, you know, or the Queen of Hearts. They're the care, the nurturing, you know, they care, take care of. Uh, you could be taken care of. You could be asked to take care of um, someone in particular. You could be going to their home. Maybe nobody knows about this. You're keeping this quiet. It's a side job. Remember I told you it might be some sort of side job that you're being asked to do. And so you may be asked to care for someone in particular. They like you, you know, they feel good with you. Or this is happening for you. I don't know, Leo. But um, the uh, I feel like the, there's something that you got to keep secret. You can't reveal this to, uh, for some reason. I don't know. It's something you maybe you don't want others to know or uh, something like this. This is going to surprise you. Don't, you don't see this coming. <laughs> so you're looking at me like, what are you talking about, Lynn? I'm not doing that. But mm, yeah, it might be. You might be. You just don't know. Uh, You have three nines, so you're real close to completing a lot of things in your life. It looks like you've taken some steps back, but you're about to take some steps forward, okay? Um, and there's some changes coming. You got three fives. You're trying to make changes in your life right now. You're trying to change those cogs. Okay, so the first card you have is Forgiving and Learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Isn't that funny? I talked about the baggage, okay? And let's just leave that suitcase right here today. I'm going to go out and have a good day today. You know, we, we can't, sometimes we can't forget our past, but we can forgive it and we can just leave it there in that bag. I'll just leave it in that bag right there, you know? So this is really nice. I'm really happy to see that because it, it seems like there is some, mm, there's something niggling here, you know, under the surface. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So see this, you know, and I said others are seeing you, you know, one time you're really happy and really sweet and another time you're kind of moody and, uh, and, but others are seeing you improving, changing this, getting friendlier and friendlier and your relationships are improving and you're getting happier. And when we're happy, we're very attractive, you know, others are find us very attractive when we're happy like they're just like oh i love being around that person they're so much fun and happy and you know people used to say that about me <laughs> before i went through menopause <laughs> oh engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so nowhere in here have i seen love really until this so you could be attracting someone this month leo or you could meet be meeting someone there maybe they're attracting you either way this could be something that could lead to something serious possibly um it looks like they're attracted to you because you enjoy you enjoy moments 
you know. Um, and you work on yourself too. Like we all go through stuff, but we work on ourselves and we pull out of it and we ride again, you know? <laughs> so that's what's happening for you. Anyway, as the ambulance approach, I'm going to just pause this for one sec. Kind of sounds like they're getting further away now. Anyway. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. But also, I got to tell you, I go on, I'm going on a tour with a group of psychics. And they're called the Galaxy Psychic Fairs dot com. And um, I'm leaving with them next Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so in a week. And um, I'm going to cross Canada, go on the cross Canada tour with them. So um, I may not be able to get as many videos out in the next two months. So I'm asking for your patience. I'm going to really try. But um, I do get really tired out after a full weekend. I'm really tired, like Monday. I'm exhausted. And then you've got to drive to the next city. But the exciting thing is as well as being able to meet all kinds of people, is that I'm going to be able to see Canada, my own country, and really learn about it. And so I'm really excited about it, and I'm going to do videos and share them with you online. And you can learn about Canada too. Maybe you'll be able to tell me about secret sweet spots that I can go and see that aren't really well-known and are beautiful. I'm really hoping to see history, the landscape, and the people of Canada. So I'm going to list the cities below and the dates and where I'll be appearing if you want to come and meet me. Or there's going to be all kinds of other psychics and mediums and palm readers there. So there's a real plethora of uh, energy in the room and you you know you can see anybody so anyway I'll list it below for you and comment if uh, this resonates for you or if you think you might be in the area of one of those cities and come and see me I would love that I would love it so anyway take care happy St. Patty's Day like the Irish to ya and happy spring bye Oops. Oops.